My goal is to get 10 million coins via farming. I've got a horse to carry me to the pumpkin farm. And it's more useless than a unicycle with a flat tire. Finally here, one pumpkin. Now I have to do that 123,000 more times to get 10 million coins. There has to be a better way. Quest 1 to get a small backpack. If I can get a backpack, it will save me time traveling between pumpkins and the shop. Step 1, ask Faye how to make a sandwich. Step 2, get your ingredients 2 meters away from this giant pile of feces. Step 3, make the sandwich. Step 4, make bricks. Step 5, give this guy a brick sandwich. Step 6, he will reward you with a small backpack. Now you can hold 9 extra items in your inventory. There still has to be a better way. Quest 2, get a farming backpack. The farmer's backpack holds 27 items just for farming. It would be extremely useful. Step 1, kill farmers. Step 2, check if the farmers actually drop the backpack. No, they don't. I also found that only 1 in 1800 farmers wear a hat. Step 3, turns out farming backpacks come from the Pyre key chests, which is a roulette spin the wheel loot box system and I have a gambling problem so I'm not allowed to use it. Quest 3, get a giant backpack. The giant backpack can hold any item and has 21 slots. The only problem is I need level 23 magic to get it. So I watched all the Harry Potter movies, but I have an attention problem so I only got to this point. No idea how to do magic. But I did see someone dressed as a wizard for Halloween last week. He told me cryptic advice. Stop calling me a wizard, I'm just old. Who knows what that could have meant. So I put on my wizard robes and started to practice. And by practice, I mean kill innocent villagers. It's good for XP, but I should go to the Viking village. They'd give more XP. So I took off on my trusty steed. Oh yeah, I can't even go off half blocks. I am the worst cowboy of all time. I ran through the magic forest and killed innocent Vikings. And luckily, none of their friends helped. Everyone in this world respects the art of the jewel. Every fight is a 1v1 to the death, except if I'm about to die then I'll disconnect and reconnect and they'll forget we were fighting. I found some XP bottles in my storage and used them on magic. Moral of the story being, if you're struggling, drink experimental liquids. Someone told me skunks give the best XP so I grinded them like add a grinding analogy. Oh well, it's too late for that now, until level 20. Then went to talk to the wizard because I remember him saying he had a secret for me once I got to level 20. Maybe he can get me to level 23. Hello Merlin, what do you have for me? He's saying nothing. Wait, what? You promised me a surprise at level 20. Show the footage. So I walked into a fairy's house to ask how to use magic. A lot of fantasy characters live in trees, but it wouldn't be as good as you think. Oh, I spilled my coffee. Guess I just poisoned and killed the tree. I talked to the fairy and she said, go on a quest to find the orb of light. Oh yeah, I probably should have mentioned the title before now. Oh well. The fairy is scared that the order of the void is plotting evil, but I wanted to do something that the internet has never done. Get both sides of the story. So I investigated the order of the void. I found this hidey hole to spy on them. We are ready to pollute the atmosphere. That's not too bad. Companies do that all the time and murder 5,000 people. I mean, and ban Kit Kats. They have to be stopped. Now this guy's just standing here polluting the air. I decided to help him. Lily, we have to stop them. Then she exploded into a bunch of flowers because she was scared. I have to go get the orb of light myself. Onwards, you mother of three. First, I have to build a solar panel and this is how all solar panels are built. Also, when did you get back alive? Is this a trick? It's my illusion. Now go make the orb of light to power the panel. If you've never seen Harry Potter, this is pretty much the entire thing. Thing. So I searched for the three components that create the orb of light. The orb, the light, the of, and there it is. But it's still uncharged. The wiki says I need to use an enchanting table on it to charge. So I'm running around the magic forest to look for one, but all I can find is magic mush. I don't talk about illicit substances. I was told it was in the forest, which is a 15 acre area. It's like asking for someone's address and then they say land. Very useful. It eliminates 70% of places. Wait, this guy is holding an orb of light. He must be showing me the way. I can't wait to finally solve this. Where are we going? He did not show me the way. I give up. I'm climbing this waterfall to drown myself. Oh, he here it is, and I did it. Here you go. Then she decides to sacrifice herself to become a solar panel, and that's what organ donor means, donating to become a solar panel. The solar panel shoots the pollution away and the world is saved. And I'm invisible again. Finally, time for my reward. One magic level up. Ah, jeez. So I went home, killed some police officers, and got magic level 23. Time to start the quest. But first I want to get farming level 50, so I spent the next three hours farming pumpkins. It really wasn't that bad. I spent the entire time watching Shaolin soccer. Amazing movie. And now I am farming level 50, unlocking volcanic hops. So before I get the backpack, I'm going volcano diving. It's a good thing Steve is immune to temperature. Here they are. Finally, I've got them. Oh, I'm being attacked. I'm gonna die. Not if I disconnect and reconnect. Nope, I still died. I swear a plane without wings would be more useful than this horse. Got the hops, went back to town. They sell for 113 coins. That's like double the pumpkins do. That's amazing. Except you have to dive into a volcano to get them and there aren't enough to respawn quickly. Useless. 
Yes, I needed a strategy to become the greatest farmer. I launched a Discord recruiting thousands of people to strategize on how to increase my farming efficiency. And you're all useless. Farming is probably the worst. This won't end well. Nah, don't farm, no point. Wait, I said that. I had no support, not even from myself. So I went to find a mentor. There are farming leaderboards on the server, the top 25 farmers, and number one is Ethos. Greetings, wise one. I would like to learn the secrets to farming. Don't know you. You don't know me? I'm the guy who made the donkey rat. It has 16 views. It's not hard to farm, just hit crops. I give up. Wait, I just found the greatest money making method in the game. As a farmer, I need high quality scythes. So if you sell people their tools, you'll make money. You need high level smithing. So it's pointless to me. Then I met some famous YouTubers. Oh my God, Cookie, sign my chest. Then someone told me that raw salmon can be bought for 30 coins. Old dude was right. Then I went back to stalking. I'm pretty sure stalking is legal if it's just for video game items. I found someone with a high smithing level that could make me an obsidian scythe. Based on his profile picture, I trusted him. And he never replied. I did some more trading and persuasion and got the obsidian scythe. Traveled with my amazing horse to put mods on it and now. My scythe has plus 29.5 farming. What does that number do? I have no idea. But I went back to farming for a few hours and I am finally top 25 in farming in the entire server. I just realized I forgot about the giant backpack. Well, I'm gonna go chop pumpkins for theta hours then get the backpack. Comment how many episodes you think this will take for me to get 10 million.